Okay, so this is the dried results of the large canvas. And let me see, turn the lights on for a second. It is a little wet in the middle, but that will be dry in the next day or so. I love this area here. And I'm not certain if I'm finished with this piece. So I might do a little bit of experimentation, maybe paint some of the white negative space, some paints gray, maybe do a little bit of crackle. I'm not sure. Um, it is a little strange, <laughs> um, but I gotta wait until it's completely dry and I play with the orientation before I choose to modify this in any way. Uh, but that's it. But I was thinking maybe some crackle in where the negative space is after I paint it some uh, either Prussian blue or Payne's gray and then maybe resin the pore area, which would be like really cool. But I'm happy with it. I'm just thinking it's a little strange with the composition and maybe some modifications to uh, really make it pop. All right, guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. You enjoy your week. And uh, I'll have a compilation video, I believe, up this week as well. I am away, but I can't wait to get back to it when I return. Have a good day. Hi guys, today we are working on an 18 by 18 inch canvas. We are going to be pouring with a 16 ounce cup. The colors I have today are the same that I did in the large canvas, which I don't think you guys are gonna see first, or maybe you already have. But anyways, we have deep turquoise. We have a Prussian blue. 24K gold, nickel azo gold, quinacordo, nickel azo, cunag, as you guys call it. And I have my artist loft white. And I think what I want to do is actually, I'm looking at it now and it makes me happy to look at it. Um, I actually, oh no, I added purple to that. We're not going to do that. Uh, so those are the colors that we're going to be using. I'm a little indecisive, um, but this is it. I think. Yeah, let's come in with some of the blue mixture. Come in with a little bit of the gold, a smidge of the white. We're gonna come in next to the azo gold with some deep turquoise. The blue. Let's do some gold. White and let's finish it with some of that and some blue. All right, so that's what our colors are gonna be. That's the nice, beautifully layered cup. I am gonna put some white in the middle here. Spread this out a bit. And we are going to start pouring. Now this is definitely more than enough paint.
We are traveling a bit. Ooh, I love all of this. This is beautiful also. Let's get the torch. Where did I put the torch? Huh. Can't. Oh, there it is. Oh, please. I'm loving what's going on in here. Give it some good torch stuff. Some torch action. All right, so we aren't going to, let's go over here first because this is where it's starting to fold over itself. And we're going to spread all this out and we'll be right back. Love these cells. So I actually, let's be prepared. We're gonna grab some paper towel to make sure I don't drip all over this painting. This is like really cool in here. So let's go this way for a moment and back. I'm gonna come over here and back. <laughs> and let's come all the way down here and back into here. Now I'm thinking I want to use uh, some corner here. And because I love what's going on here, and I don't usually use corners, but today we're going to, I just want to secure that. There we go. I love that. And I didn't want to lose it. And if I stretched it like I normally do, I would have. We're going to go right off that back corner. This one is so cool. Oh, we're gonna get another corner. It's a little big, we don't need something that big. Pretty funky. And then we're gonna come and guide it to that corner. Actually, let's see here. I really love those cells up there. So I think I'm just gonna leave it as is. Might be a little too much. Mm. 
I'm really not sure. I feel like doing this is gonna be a mistake, but let's see. I'm gonna go off over on this, or at least push some, but try not to lose those cells. I'm totally loving this piece. So, so very happy. I'll come in with the leftovers. I do have a little bit of a white corner and I really don't want that there. Um, so what I'm gonna do is come in with some of the leftovers in this cup. Just fill that in. And then I am, eh, I'm tempted, but I don't know if I should. Don't you hate that? I think I'm gonna leave it well enough alone at this point. Um, this really turned out amazing. We're gonna bring you guys in. I love all of the gold effect inside. All of these details are gonna just look amazing. And I'm so glad I used the corners to get a sharper, or well, not to get a sharper, but to salvage all of this detail here. Because if I hadn't, it would have been a complete loss. So we're gonna get it up on some cups to dry, and uh, we'll be right back, guys. Okay, here we are. I love that really light blue in there. So we will see the dried results of this piece when I return from being out of town. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.